Hey there, it's Beth from Rock Your Notebook, and I am using a book multimedia notebook for this uh, multimedia spread using the beautiful Calico Collage Autumn Ride uh, Journal Kit, which is absolutely stunning. So what I'm doing here is the Prima Acrylic Paints work wonderfully on the Black Mix Media paper. They work really well on any paper, but they kind of like stand out and really shine on the Black Mix Media paper. And I decided to mix the bronze and the orange paint just a tad here, um, just to give it a little bit of a not so much as a one dimensional effect. And you're going to see that in a minute here. So I added the bronze on first. And then I cleaned my paintbrush, which not only gave me the ability to get them to blend better because of the water, um, but also because I didn't want to mix my paints. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and dry all of this here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a stencil, which took me a little while to find which stencil I wanted to use for this project and I would love to know um, how you all st store your stencils so if you can leave me a comment below letting me know how you store your stencils I would really appreciate it because right now I currently have all of my stencils in a Ziploc, not a Ziploc baggie but like one of those plastic pouches from like the container store and as much as I love those pouches, the way they work with storing the stencils is not really a lot of fun. So then here I am, I'm using the yellow paint and a stencil brush from Prima, which is not necessarily my favorite way to use a stencil and paint. Um, nine times out of ten, I generally use my fingers. But I wanted to see what kind of effect I could get with the stencil brush. And I really liked the bonus added texture that I got by using the stencil brush and um, pounding it into the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and dry those. Um, two things here. One, always clean off your stencils um, as quickly as you can just because... Uh, otherwise, you will end up not being able to use them as well if they're full of paint and dirty and cake with layers and layers of paint. So I always clean my stencils off. I actually went all the way upstairs to throw it in the um, sink with some water so that it could soak uh, and it went, the paint wouldn't stay stuck on it. And I'll be honest with you, probably by the time I came back downstairs, that paint was dry because it wasn't a lot of paint on the page. So I zapped that with the heat gun, and I swear by this heat gun, it's a Wagner heat gun, and it's awesome. Next, I'm using fluid matte medium to adhere this piece. Um, I cut it out from the Calico Collage kit, and I love the corner pieces in her kits. She doesn't always have them, but a lot of the kids do have these corner pieces, and I just love them. They give so much, um, I don't know, they cover such a wide amount of space in a notebook without being overbearing, I guess. And they fit perfectly in the corners, which I love. So you're going to see that I'm covering the entire page with matte medium, and the reason behind this is because I know that I want to use my pit pins and the fabric castell pit pins blend out really really well on matte medium now you're gonna see the technique that I'm talking about here in a minute and if you don't have matte medium or gesso down on your page you won't be able to do this exact technique even if you try and overlay it over acrylic paint or watercolor paint it's not gonna work you have to have that extra-ness of a matte medium or a gesso on your page in order for this technique to work. So I took my really dark navy pen here and you can see I'm laying down some 
ink and then I'm smudging it out with my finger and I'm doing that so that my flowers have a little bit of a shadow look. Um, I really I love this technique. It's just so easy and you get so much from it. And then I knew I wanted something like that here where I stuck down um, my piece from, from the journal kit. But as you're going to see later on, this light completely changes because I needed it to not be so stark against the paint in the background. I wanted it to blend in some. So I'm using my finger. I'm dabbing it into the paint. I'm going to dab my finger into some water too in a bit. And I'm just kind of trying to blend it in some so it's not so stark against the paint. You know, that harsh outline of the paper. And I really, I like the way this turned out, especially after adding my finger to some water to get the paint moving a little bit before it was fully dry. So that's another technique um, that if you're working with acrylic paints and water really does help you to get the paint moving. Um, it, obviously, you can get like a watercolor effect if you add enough water to acrylic paint and that gives you the ability to have paint down on your paper that is not going to move if water hits it again. Anyways, there's so many different things about acrylic and watercolor paints, but I love working with both. And you can see here on my stencil, I am now coloring in the leaves and the flowers with my pit pins. The leaves I literally colored in. I didn't uh, blend them out, but the flower part, I fully blended them out with my fingers so that I didn't have like this harsh coloring line of color inside my flowers. And I love the way these turned out. I think they're just absolutely fantastic. The next thing I'm going to do here, I believe, is add some more shading to my corner piece. I'm pretty sure that's what I do. I could be wrong. Oh, I'm adding more shading for my flowers because I guess I, that part didn't have enough. And then I'm drying everything. Everything is pretty much dry, but I wanted to make sure that my pit pens were dry and that the paint where I added it there. And then, yes, yeah, so now I'm taking the gray, um, the gray pit pen, and I noticed that because I added acrylic paint, that it wasn't moving. So then I had to add another layer of matte medium because my pit pen wasn't moving, moving and blending out. So like I said earlier, the matte medium or gesso, and then your pit pens will blend out. And then of course I was being super impatient because it was really hot and I didn't want to use my pit pen with it so hot. So I went and checked and saw what else I had in my notebook. I don't know. I was being impatient. So I'm going to blend all of this out and then I'm going to cut another piece from the journal kit and uh, I'm going to adhere that and then I'm going to call this page done. I do create like a border around the entire thing using this pit pen and I really really like the way that kind of like tied everything in together. Um, you can't see the border on everything because some of the pages still have like the blackness uh, from the paper but that's okay. I again it really just kind of like tied everything in. So now you're going to see the extra little piece that I added and that is it. Again, the kit that I used is Autumn Ride. It's from Calico Collage, and that will be also linked in the description box below. And I really hope you enjoyed this mixed media tutorial. The Rock Your Notebook notebooks are in the shop as well. This is the black mixed media one, but you could also use a white mixed media one or a watercolor notebook and do the same thing. Alrighty, that's it for me. Thanks. Bye.